Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I just kind of wanted to make a lighthearted video. You guys get to know me a little better. So, I'm going to be doing my nails Well, I chat with you guys. I ordered this, in quarantine, I ordered this gel nail kit off Amazon. It's like 50 bucks. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing my nails. As you can see, I forgot to record an intro, so I already did my nails and you guys are watching this at the beginning of the video. Don't look at my nails, I already did them. So here we are. I hope you guys just enjoy this little hangout with me and let's get to it. Bye. Let's paint our nails. How was your guys' day? Did you guys have a good day? Should we go pony or bun? Honestly, it's kind of good. So I have no idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be a long ass clip. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about. I'm planning on just chit chatting with you guys. Like we're hanging out. This, especially since we're in quarantine, it's like the only thing we got, man. I'm gonna biopsy on my thyroid gland today. First of all, the route to get to my biopsy, that was interesting. I got a flat tire, <laughs> stopped in the middle of the road, waited for my dad to come. Mind you, I'm still trying to get to this biopsy, which takes like a month or two to schedule in advance. Like I've been waiting for this appointment for like a month or two. And I know my dad is napping and he's the only person that can call to swap me cars. So I wake him up from his nap. Thankfully, he somehow needed to change his spare. And then I made it. I was a few minutes late, but we made it to my biopsy appointment. Like I really need to focus if we're gonna get anywhere. I was gonna vlog my uh, biopsy. The procedure took like five minutes. It wasn't long at all. So I figured I'd just include it in this video and tell you guys about it. Initially, it was to check for Hashimoto's autoimmune disease. I got an ultrasound on my thyroid gland. Anyways, I'll get the, the results for my biopsy in two weeks. The procedure itself, they lay you down, like overextend your neck back, and then they stick one at a time. They'll stick a hollow needle in your throat, it's like right here. Yeah, I know, because that's where your thyroid gland is, and like suction out a piece of your thyroid gland. The best way I can describe it, what it felt like was needle like poking around, like going like this to your Adam's apple. I cried. <laughs> Filed my nails. What color do we want? Should we just play it safe and do pink? I'm just gonna play it safe. Pretty. <laughs> That's a good description. In my first video, someone asked me, or I got a two extra questions from my first Q&A that I didn't answer in the last video. One was in the regards to baseball, which I thought was interesting. Who I think has the best swing in baseball? My answer to that, absolutely nothing compared, is Ken Griffey Jr. Lefties have the prettiest swing, for sure. <laughs> Look at me getting back into softball. It's like 8 p.m. Ain't no law. That's my answer to that. <laughs> I don't have much going on this weekend, but the next weekend, one of my teammates who I used to play softball with at UCLA, she's coming to visit. We do a little staycation here. And we were freshmen together, and she is the best time ever. That girl brings out the fun in me. Okay, we love a good time. I feel like that might be a misconception about me. People think because I'm all into health and fitness and eating super healthy that I don't like a good time, but I like a good time. Just selectively, I think there's a time and place. And I think it's fun. I think it's fun to go out. There's a fun, there's a balance. It doesn't have to be an extreme. You can be into health and fitness, still incorporate unhealthy foods or alcohol or staying up late. Like you can still incorporate everything you do and everything you like to do just modify it and find ways to like negate it and fit it in kind of like tracking your macros and like budgeting you know what i'm saying fit it in you can we can make anything work i'm gonna do one more coat no yeah yeah that looks so bad it's okay honestly i liked quarantine at the beginning i was kind of like freaking out i really enjoy working out at home now i don't have to wear makeup, worry about what my skin looks like because I'm so insecure about that. The color coordinate my outfits. I, I don't have to wear shoes. I'm sold right there. And I work out in the dark sometimes. Like I go in my garage and I just shut the lights off and I'm just in my element. I'm in a little cave. Yep, looks over there, cool. Quarantine's definitely taught me 
discipline on sticking to an eating schedule. If you're struggling right now in quarantine, pick what times you want to eat and you have got to stick to those times. But that has really, really helped me. I'm so grateful for quarantine again for that reason because it's taught me control with food. Being stuck in a house all day with a fridge full of food, that'll teach us some stuff. But it helps if you just don't keep it in the house, especially for quarantine. Like I just did not keep anything like that in the house. That's self-sabotage. You could see that as restriction or you could see that as just not self-sabotaging yourself. If you know certain things are triggers for you and certain things that you like, keep that shit out of the house. Only get that when you are willing to drive out and get it or have a social outing. Here's what my right hand's looking like. Cute. Ooh. You should trust things that you decide, okay? Not things that people decide for you. That's one thing that really makes me nervous about parenting is because I want to make sure that I teach them, but I also don't ingrain them my, in my way of thinking. I want them to have their own way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of difficult. Does anyone else think about these things? There's literally hair in it. There's hair stuck in my nails. Mood. Sometimes I really think I have ADD. Why can't I just focus? Okay. What is the world gonna look like in a hundred years? In a way, I'm grateful that I won't be here for it. But in a way, I'm, I just want a way to find out. Like, if I could look down from the heavens and just be like, okay, cool, that's what it is. I, I have my closure, we're good now. <laughs> that's like, that's what I'm, I'm not afraid of dying, but I just wanna like, know what's after me, you know? But dying doesn't really scare me. It's more like people around me dying. If like my dad died or someone close to me, a friend, a close friend, if, if I've ever talked to you, if you die, if you guys die, oh my God, don't take the wrong way, but who cares if I die? If one of you guys die, I know I'll be all right if I die. I'm not afraid to die. I know I'll be fine. But if one of you guys die, just not okay. I don't really like that. And then we all, we come full circle back to, at the end of the day, like, what's it all about? Why do you do the things that you do? Have you ever sat down and asked yourself that? Think about it. I feel like I'm in a phase of my life where I just question everything. I feel like I'm hitting it a little bit early, but <laughs> everything, I question everything. I, I think one thing, but then I see the other side of it and can just find another reason for the other side. Sometimes it can be so frustrating because it's like, you don't even know which thought you liked. You don't know which one you favor. Because you can see both sides of it. We didn't really kill our steps today. Sorry, I'm looking at my Apple Watch. We did okay, we got 10,897. I usually get about like 12 to 15,000, but not every day is gonna be perfect, you know? We got our, at least we got our 10,000. Let's celebrate a little win right there, that's good. I used to be super OCD about wearing my watch. And I had to stop for a little bit and I found what's really, really helped me is one, only wearing it during the workout. So I just wear it for the workout and then take it off for the rest of the day. And B, my friend said this really helped her, so I tried it and it helped me. She said she uh, just doesn't wear it on the weekends. She'll wear it during the week. She knows she's active and fit, but on the weekends, a little more inactive and where it's going to affect me at least more. Um, so I don't wear it on the weekends usually. Maybe that'll help some of you guys. Don't let this control your life. There, the calibration that barely sometimes picks up your heart rate. There's really no accurate way of even knowing. Damn, this looks bad. I'm just gonna call it right there. I can get straight A's as an engineering student, but can't multitask doing my nails and uh, talking to the YouTube. I think I am gonna cuss on my channel. If I left in a cuss word, you know what's up. Oh, I'm having so much fun with YouTube. I wish everyone would YouTube more because it's like you could just find out people's personalities. I need someone to play pickleball with. I just ordered a new racket. <sighs> if you got this far in the video, god damn it, I love ya. In the last video, I told you guys I really want a burrito. And I still do. I still don't have a tortilla and bread. Okay, people, final results are in. Ooh. Let's do the thumbnail. Perfect. 
Okay, YouTube, so as you can see, I painted my nails and I already recorded this video a few days ago, actually. <laughs> and I have, I, f I realized I forgot to answer the second question. And so this is a few days ago and I literally put on the same clothes. So you guys would think this is like the same video, but it's definitely like Saturday. I forgot to tell you guys the second uh, question. And that was, what is my biggest insecurity? And my biggest insecurity I would have to say 100% my skin. I have a lot of hormonal problems in the first place it freaking shows is on my skin. So like all up in here, like the texture is like all off. And I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. It really, really, really sucks and I hate it. Ugh, I just feel like I can't go anywhere with out covering it up. Even though it's getting a lot better though. So I'm grateful for that, at least it's getting better. Also just like little things that are like insecurities but I've learned to just who cares about them like my upper body I hold a lot of like weight in my upper body and I feel like my upper body is really big and broad but it's probably all in my head so I don't wear a lot of tank tops for that reason I'm just insecure about like my shoulders and arms and I know it's all in my head but sometimes just like my hips I have really narrow hips and like I just look like a freaking stick I, like my mm, that's my body <laughs> I wish I had like a little figure to me. That'd be kind of nice. But I mean, those are things like you can't really, really change. Those are like the top ones that come to mind. But yeah, that's the big one right now with my face and my skin. So here to talk about it. We all have insecurities. You're not alone. <laughs> I have a lot too. I might come off like I don't care about things. But I definitely have my days and no, it's every day. I definitely have my moments every day where I doubt things and doubt myself and freak out a little bit. At the end of the day, you are who you are. And <laughs> this is turning into like a rant about loving yourself, but you're going to be with yourself for the rest of your life, guys. <laughs> yeah, might as well start now. <laughs> I encourage you all to start now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I know this is filmed a few days after. Put on the same outfit for you guys, so at least the effort was there. Um, <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you liked it, like it. Look at those cute little nails. Oh, oh, yeah. No. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much.